Hi there, this is Kenny over at uh, LearnHowToGrowSprouts.com and today I'm going to take just a minute and talk about all the wonder that is broccoli sprouts. Now, there are all different types of sprouts and if you want to learn more about the different types of beans and seeds and things that you can sprout, just hop on over to LearnHowToGrowSprouts.com. You can see it right here. If you want to type that into your browser, you can head over there. If you haven't seen what sprouted uh, broccoli looks like, this is, I have a couple of pictures here, and it really does kind of look like a four-leaf clover with a tail. And uh, I, I kind of have this tagline here, and I really do believe that uh, to live healthy and even fight cancer with the properties of live broccoli sprouts. Now, there have been a number of studies that have been uh, done over time, and uh, broccoli has been known for some time to be um, helpful, very helpful toward fighting cancer. But uh, what they didn't realize is how much more potent the a broccoli sprout is. And so you can eat uh, much less of it and still gain the, the same benefits and properties. Now, um, John Hopkins, they found uh, a new and highly concentrated source of um, sephoraphane, uh, and that's the compound. It's a, it's a uh, antioxidant, and you know where cancer typically derives from is the mutation of cells. Um, so much of our body and the, our environment is bombarded constantly by oxidants, and if we don't uh, fight those in certain ways, uh, then you can get a mutation, and then you know cancer grows and builds on top of that. So. So forafane is this natural chemical that's a part of broccoli, and it's 10 to 20 times more potent in broccoli sprouts. And so if you're looking at really taking the most potent form of cancer-fighting elements or chemicals, uh, natural body chemicals, then, uh, then eat broccoli sprouts. It's that simple. Three-day-old broccoli sprouts, as I mentioned earlier, 20 to 50 times the amount of chemoprotective compounds found in mature broccoli. Chemically reducing, it's a dietary means of chemically reducing um, cancer risk. Well, um, they found this to be successful in combating breast cancer uh, as well as prostate cancer. And it's not hard. Uh, it's, it's actually very simple to um, sprout uh, broccoli. In fact, um, you know, it's interesting the amount of money that uh, people will pay for all different types of supplements and prescription drugs, and yet many of the uh, the nutrients and compounds found in um, three-day-old broccoli sprouts are extremely more potent and powerful toward combating those, um, and at a fraction of the cost. If you haven't seen what a good sprouted broccoli looks like uh, up close. This is what it looks like. And it has really what I would call sort of a, a peppery sort of flavor, uh, almost a radish type of, um, of flavor. And, and it tastes absolutely fantastic mixed with, uh, with other things. And so many times you can eat it as in a sandwich, in a wrap, in a salad, um, on top of a potato um, with sour cream. So there are lots of different options. Here's an interesting stat that came out of that same study. One ounce of broccoli sprouts contains 4% of the recommended daily value of dietary fiber, 15% of the recommended amount of vitamin C, and 2% of the recommended intake of calcium. So it's a good way to really build um, some of those basic dietary needs uh, you know, daily just by having a, a, a cup or so of uh, broccoli sprouts. They've been shown to reduce the risk of getting breast and colon cancer, well, which I've spoken to just a little bit. Now, here's one of the, the aspects of it that a lot of people um, underestimate is this antibacterial agent against uh, um, the H. pylori, as it's called. It's an organism associated with causing stomach ulcers. And many people do get this bacterial um, sort of growth in their stomach, and it does create all types of havoc. And again, uh, if you've ever had an ulcer, a bleeding ulcer, it's extremely painful and even life-threatening. Um, so you can combat that naturally with some of the chemicals that are made available, uh, I should say natural dietary compounds are made available in broccoli sprouts. I want to talk just a minute about these free radicals, if unstable chemical you know, products of metabolism that damage cell molecules and lead to cardiovascular disease. Broccoli sprouts contain high levels of this glue 
glucrophanin, which prevents the damage caused by free radicals. And I was just making mention of that earlier. We all suffer from it. Uh, and in today's world where we're surrounded by all different types of uh, harmful chemicals in the environment, um, why not combat it with uh, nature's uh, own uh, miracle? Well, I, I don't want to get like crazy here, but it can be miraculous for those who have suffered for a long time. So more about the John Hopkins study in 1997. The research concluded that broccoli sprouts promoted much more cancer protection and antioxidant activity via sulforaphane than broccoli alone. So they're once again just backing that up. All right, well, I just want to give you a few ideas about how to, um, about how to uh, create some of your own sprouts. Um, so here are some just the the basic directions okay you can buy your organic organic sprouting seeds now I, I i show you where if you go over in to learn how to grow sprouts dot com and sign up for my uh my newsletter i'll i'll share all this with you but you can buy that you can find or purchase a large mouth one quart glass container just use a mason jar and with some cheesecloth and an elastic band you can just wrap that around there you can and as i state here that's pretty much all you need to get started you can place around three tablespoons of sprouting seeds uh, at least three times the amount of the purified water in the jar. So just put the seeds in there, let it soak overnight, eight to twelve hours. Drain off the water from off the seeds, um, and then rinse three times a day. And in four days, you're going to have yourself uh, a pretty hefty harvest. Now, it, you do you don't want this to ever for the seeds to sit in in um, standing water except for that first night that you allow them to soak. After that, you're just going to keep them moist by um, rinsing them three times a day. So you want the jar to sit on its side or at an angle in a dish rack to allow the water to drain out. And if you just do that, you know, three times a day, you're going to have yourself uh, a a pretty impressive harvest of uh, broccoli sprouts. Listen, you can learn more about this and some of the particulars over at learnhowtogrowsprouts.com. And so I look forward to seeing you over there. Thanks for taking just a minute with me. And uh, listen, we'll talk to you soon. See you over at learnhowtogrowsprouts.com.